Tonight, Knox County Sheriff's deputies say they found a car linked to a suspect and a string of vehicle burglaries. The crimes date back to late September. Investigators say the break ins resulted in several stolen firearms along with other personal information. Among the targets, a rifle stored inside a law enforcement vehicle. That happened in the Sturkey Hills neighborhood of Knox County. And tonight, the sheriff in Anderson County is confirming that vehicle belongs to one of his deputies. For a look at this still developing case, 10 News reporter Aaron Velasquez turned to police and legal experts. Well, this is really a problem, obviously, because these are very uh, effective and dangerous weapons that the police need to possess and, and need to use to protect the public. Car burglaries have struck law enforcement with a rifle being stolen from an Anderson County deputy's vehicle. As the investigation into the break-ins continues, police experts describe how those dangerous weapons can be secured. Is there are specialized equipment inside of the vehicle designed specifically to be able to secure uh, firearms, primarily long guns, such as rifles and shotguns. Weapons training expert Carl De La Guerra says a properly secured gun could cause some difficulties for thieves trying to take it. The locking mechanisms that I'm familiar with, crowbar, sledgehammer, cutting torch, something to that degree to be able to physically remove that locking mechanism and separate that locking mechanism from the weapon. That vehicle became just one of the many vehicles targeted in Knox County. According to deputies, the spree began in late September, resulting in firearms and personal items like social security and credit cards being stolen. Attorney Don Bosch says this serves as a reminder to always safely secure your firearm. Well, first, lock your vehicles, lock your homes. Two, secure your weapons. Secure your weapons not only from bad guys, but secure your weapons from your children, from your family members, from someone that might be having mental health issues, but always secure your weapons. Aaron, joining us now, and explain how the public can help in this rash of break-ins. John, the Knox County Sheriff's Office is asking anyone with information to reach out to them at 865-215-2243. Anderson County Sheriff Russell Barker also declined to further comment on the case due, the, due to the investigation. Back to you, John. Aaron, thank you.